Unprecedented Mums by Becky Kershaw. <sighs> this coronavirus, eh? How the bloody hell am I expected to look after my three angels for three months, eh? What am I going to do with them? School sent a shitload of work home for them to do. I mean, they've got all these online tasks they've got to do every day. It's driving me insane, Carol. I mean, I'm not a teacher, am I? I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing. Bobby! Bobby! Put the dog down! <sighs> Sorry, Carol. Right, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so it's dead hard because they're all different ages and luckily, I mean, Jessie's only five, so that's not too bad, but oh, my God, you want to see the work they've sent home for our Bobby and Lily May? It's crazy. Bobby, put the dog down. Right, you've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two... nerves are shot, Carol. Oh, it's madness. Do you know, I went to Aldi the other day for some shopping. They had no pasta, no long life milk, no loo rolls, right? You should have seen them coming out with these trolleys stacked high full of 60 odd toilet rolls. Who needs that many? <sighs> then I've got my three, eating me out of house and home, snacking all day they are. I said to him, you need to use your school stomachs because you don't get to eat like this all day at school now, do you? Oh, and look at my hands. Look at them. Look like a 90-year-old woman's, don't they? All dry and cracked from all this washing. Oh, that reminds me. Do you mind ordering me one of those uh, hand creams off your sister's Avon, please? Ta. Anyway, Jane at number five, the one with the double extension, she says to me, the only way to get through this is to have some structure. She says I need one of these homeschooling timetables for my three. She says, would you like to look at mine? I said, go on then. So, you know, I did. And I had things on it like, 8am, get dressed, have breakfast. 9am, work out with Joe Wicks. 9.30am, Outdoor play, weather permitting. 10am, maths. 11am, yoga and meditation. 12, lunch. But we're also going to call that home economics. 1pm, English. 2pm, art. 3pm, reading. Well, Carol, I tried that for about two days and then I was burnt out and my anxiety was through the roof. And I thought, do you know what? Sod this. I'm not doing this anymore. So we tried our own route, which is letting them pretty much do what they want. And it's much easier that way. And I'm not drinking as much wine, which is good. Anyway, oh, I thought, I'll have a nosy on Facebook. And you know Jane from number five? She's only gone and started her own group. It's called Surviving Parenting Through the Corona Crisis. Catch your title, eh? Mm. So I thought, I'll join. Have a little nosy. Well, it's full of, like, competitive parents all boasting about how many activities they've managed to do that day or who's got the best homeschooling timetable. Or whose child's the brightest? Yeah? And it's just it's just not for me. And it's like full of competitive mums just trying to outdo one another all the time. And I thought, nah, you can keep that. So, Carol, I think the only way to survive this corona crisis is to stay away from Facebook. Stay away from wine. And stay away from Jane at number five.